but thank you, everybody. I'm going to introduce um, Toby Dynavox, TD Snap, a platform for communication success. Uh, Patrick is here with us. And Patrick, I'm going to turn it all over to you. Thank you. Too. Thanks. Um, yes, Pat we're talking. Patrick, do you want your camera on? Sorry, oh, before you get too uh... far. <laughs> Do I want my camera on? Yes, I do. I'm not sure if it's working. Is that, yep. is it okay? Working okay, good. great. Okay, working good. Ahead. All right. So uh, today we're talking about TD Snap, a platform for communication success. My name is Patrick Bruni. I'm on the uh, Toby Dynavox learning team and really want to talk about TD Snap and some of its tools and components that really makes it this flexible software. <clears throat> for our families and professionals to use to really support what is the vision behind uh, TD Snap is really empower people to be lifelong and independent communicators. Now, TD Snap is a platform that we're utilizing to support lots of different page sets, language organizations. We really believe that one size does not fit all when it comes to supporting AAC communicators. And we want to make sure that they have that plan that fits them best and allows them to engage in communication and learning. Now, all of these page sets are a part of TD Snap. You choose the one that supports you the most. We have several offerings in this symbol user text-based users. And then, I don't know, I kind of just think of this as sort of a, an other group of, of aphasia and uh, one specific for um, scanning. All of these page set options are included in your TD Snap software. A few of them are available through in-app purchases, but even those are available for 60-day trials. Now, as we go through these rest of these 10, 10 or so minutes here, I just want to talk about one of our page sets that's this newest option, our motor plan page set. Going to review how easy the customization, because again, as Snap as a platform, all of the page set options use the same customization, the same editing. And then I want to talk about the TD Snap Board Maker Library, the player that is a part of the Snap platform. So it's available across all the different page sets. Now, we're only going to get into just a little bit of the TD Motor Plan page set, just some of the key features. I'm going to show you the Learning Hub at the end. And our uh, Toby Dynavox Learning Hub, we have recorded and live webinars on all of our software and hardware. And we have an extended version of this motor plan page set. But really, these key features, there's only a couple that I want to highlight just within this, this session. And one is this idea that the grid size, there are two grid size options with the motor plan page set. You have the 30 and the 66 motor plan. They both work the same operationally. And what I mean by that is navigation begins and ends on the home page. When you select the vocabulary button, that goes into the message window and then you automatically re return to the home page. So that really facilitates this learning and developing of automaticity. But I think what's so important is the vocabulary is the same between each of these grid sizes. So each one has 2,700 words. The majority of words can be accessed with three hits or less. So no matter the grid size you choose, you still have that robust vocabulary. And I think it's important to note, and probably one of the biggest takeaways that I'd, I'd like to think about with this motor plan page set is that the grid size options offer that same vocabulary, that same motor efficiency. So motor plan 30 might be really useful for individuals who need larger buttons due to access reasons or visual processing. And even though that AAC user is presented with fewer buttons per page, the motor plan 30 or that 30 button grid size still provides that same efficient and robust vocabulary, the same as the Motor Plan 66. And when you think about it, it's not always the case when interacting with a smaller grid size. You will not end up compromising on vocabulary 
or access to the language with the smaller grid size. Motor Plan 30 solves that issue. In fact, when they were developing this page set, that's where they started first was with the Motor Plan 30. And they thought, if we can make this successful, then the 66 will even be easier to make as far as efficiency goes. So it's really exciting to think about that you can choose the grid size that really supports your communicator. Now, there's just a few things that I want to talk about here, and these are standard across the grid size of 30 or 66. Uh, the toolbar is always on the home page, and it's because once you make a simple selection, you always bounce back to that home page. So that's the only place you need the toolbar. So it frees up space on the other pages for more vocabulary. Um, the PCS symbols in this page set, they they've kind of been updated, refreshed. Um, they have a similar styling to the classic design, but they're more in line with what we are, we're using now with the thin line symbols. And some of the symbols have been updated to meet more contemporary referencing. There are 2,700 words per page set, no matter the grid size. Each word has its own location. No words are duplicated. And there's a smart dashboard, meaning that um, based on your access method that you're using in this dashboard, you're now provided with um, settings. Like if you are an iGaze user and that's your access method in the dashboard, the AAC communicator is gonna have access to calibration, dwell settings, all of those settings and features that support the iGaze access method become active on that dashboard. And then, of course, we have the keyboard and quick fires, things to continue to develop language and learning and literacy. Um, each page, we really believe that in this page set, we think customization is important. So you're always going to find extra space so that you can add um, customization for these pages. And one more feature that I think is important um, is that on every vocabulary page, you're going to find this and almost in the same space on every page, the uh, category name of the vocabulary page. And it's been found that it's really important when first learning categorization of words that you see that category name there. But we were also thinking in the development that it's important in terms of supporting the use of descriptive language. Inevitably, there's going to be a word that is just not part of the system. In fact, it's not functional to put every word possible for those for our AC users. But this idea of having the category or that description button right there allows this idea of beginning to use those categories, those words in descriptive language, being able to describe the word they're looking for. So having the category name on each page is a way to support that language learning process. And then finally is the uh, one of the tools that we have are the vocabulary filter. And I'm just going to jump into the software real quick here and just show you this uh, vocabulary filter. And the idea of the vocabulary filter is either to maybe start with a smaller set of vocabulary and then slowly grow it as that AAC user becomes more confident with their system, or maybe it's used to target within a curriculum uh, activity or within some therapy session, target some specific vocabulary. The filter is right here to turn it on and off. And this is password protected, so you can uh, make that so it's not as easily accessible. But I'm going to turn the filter on, and now you can see all the buttons have this gray uh, um, cover over it, which just means that they are not available for the AAC user. So I can just go through and start to click through what I want to have available to that communicator. I can go into any of these categories and they become active. And I always like to show the category name. And then maybe there's a few other options here. I can go back and maybe do places and do a couple things there. And you just click through, very easy. Now, when I hit done, go back to home. Here are the words that I've made available. 
I can go right back into the vocabulary filter and just start adding some more words. Easy to add. And I really like this feature. I can go in and turn a toggle right up here in the toolbar. I'm gonna move my message window just a little bit smaller and I've opened up a space here. And what I'm gonna do is choose a toggle vocabulary filter. And what this allows me to do is at any point, I can turn off the filter. And now I have all my vocabulary ready to go. So if there's something maybe I haven't made available, I can use this off and on filter right here that allows me to get to access. But I think more important even you know, than me having access to it, it's our AAC communicators to have access to that filter. So they can go ahead. And even though we might be highlighting some vocabulary for a curriculum, they can go ahead and uh, turn that off and on. And now to finish up, I would like to just show this idea of our board maker TD Snap, our library of activities. And I want to play just a quick video here. Have you ever wondered how you can quickly and easily use the accessible books or interactive activities from Boardmaker with your Snap users? Well, Snap now includes an integrated Boardmaker player. With the integrated Boardmaker player, no matter which page set you're utilizing in SNAP, you have the ability to access the Boardmaker library to browse and play preloaded activities. These activities include an accessible bookshelf with a variety of books, accessible games, a calendar, math tools, as well as samples from some of Boardmaker's most loved curriculum titles. This integration of Boardmaker and SNAP also allows you to add Boardmaker activities you have made or found within the community to use in the SNAP software. Having access to this collection of activities right in SNAP allows easy and quick access without switching software or having to download another application. So now I want to just for time jump into the software because what this allows us to do, and this is standard across the TD Snap software. So it's in every page set. You can add the functionality of the board maker activities. This library takes you right to a set. This is available for every page set. It's standard. Here's a bookshelf that now is a series of core books that are completely accessible based on whatever access method you're using, as well as the ability to bring um, books that are in the activities from the Boardmaker community, which is about over, uh, I think over 100,000 activities or more right now in the Boardmaker activity uh, in the library, community library. And I just brought this one down just earlier uh, today. And it's a book on, it was a um, for Stranger Things, and again, fully accessible, no matter what access method you are using. So not only can I make my own activities within BoardMaker and bring them into the player, I can use some of the standard activities that are already part of the library, and I can make, and I can pull activities down from the community of the Boardmaker uh, site and bring them right into my uh, software. You do not need to have a subscription. You can create a free account in Boardmaker and you can access all of the activities in the library, such as this one. And it makes it fully accessible. That's right. Butterfly laser egg is the first item. And these were all brought down. You can do this with a free account. You can't customize, but you can utilize all those activities that are there in the community account. If you have your own subscription, you can play, you can create your own and bring them in. All right, so TD Snap, it's just a set of tools. It's a platform that we really believe provides our communicators with the most support for both communication and learning. We uh, have our learning hub at learn.tobydynavox.com and oh, that will uh, 
get you to more information. All right. And Thank now, you. yes. Thank you, Patrick.